Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can connect a Rancher with your kubectl which is on your Windows using PowerShell and Command Prompt. So let's get started. First and foremost of all, of course, you're going to have to download the kubectl which you can actually do it with a curl command. I'll leave the curl command here. This is what it looks like. I can open a notepad here. There you go. This is what the curl command looks like. Right. Uh, basically, you run it on your command prompt. You will download it, and generally, when you download this guy here, it always lands up in the uh, in your user folder. Right. So I'm going to minimize this guy here and open my Windows Explorer. It will always end up in your user folder. Right. If you go down here, you can see kubectl. If this file is not in here, uh, you have to copy and paste it in here. Okay. So once that's done. You have once you downloaded your kubectl, right, and then you go right click here. You have to create a new directory to store your configuration file, which is called dot kube dot cube, and hit enter, right, on the same directory where your kubectl dot exe file is. So let's go inside that directory, right click this guy here, and copy in a clipboard because you're gonna have to save a configuration file in here, right? So later on, so we'll do that again, uh, but. The next thing you want to do would be to open your Rancher web page. On your Rancher web page, uh, the uh, uh, kubectl configuration file, either you can download it using this icon here, using uh, the download as a YAML file, or you can copy it in a clipboard, your kube configuration. So I'm going to take this route here. I'm going to click this guy here to copy in a clipboard, and I'm going to minimize here. The next thing I want to do is to open my notepad again and right click and paste it in here. So this is what the uh, uh, cube uh, config file looks like, right? It's got the uh, API version kind cluster and all that good stuff, right? So this is what it's supposed to look like. So once you got that, you're gonna have to save this file in the dot cube directory that you just created. So I go file, save as, and you're gonna have to go to C users rg underscore sl and you're gonna go to this directory that you just create dot cube and in here you're gonna save it as config without any file name extension so if you put a double quote around it it will not create any file name extension so i'm gonna open my explorer leave it down here you can see that the file will be created here save a file came in with no file name extension as you can see right so that's one and i'm gonna minimize this guy here so next thing we're gonna do is testing. So let's get started with uh, command prompt first. You don't have to be admin. Slide it in here, make it a bit bigger. So you, in this directory, you know you have kubectl, right? This is what uh, kubectl should look like right, when you run it. So as a test, normally I like to run and inquire about namespace, which is really quick. So here you type, let me clear the screen here, ctl space, get namespace. If you hit enter, and if your configuration was set up correctly, you will see all your namespaces on your rancher. So that is how you test on your command prompt. Let's uh, launch our PowerShell, minimize this guy here. And let's do a PowerShell. Again, I'm not running as admin, just straight up user. Zoom in. If for, them, if for some reason you can't run it, just run it as an administrator. I've always had luck running as a user. Maybe I'm an admin user, but over here, in order to run your your kubectl, uh, your kubectl is on the same directory. If I go with directory k asterisk, you can see my kubectl is there, right? So in here, you type, you're going to have to type dot slash kubectl get name space, right? So if you were to not have this, it'll give you an error message, right? See, kubectl is not found. Oh, sorry, it's a typo there. Kubectl is not found, right? It'll give you an error message. So it does need the direct location of where it is found. So this means current directory, kubectl, can't type anymore. CTL get namespace just like that and hit enter yeah if your configurations are correctly set up you'll get the same results as your command prompt if this tutorial was helpful please like and subscribe other than that 
You have a good day. Bye now.